Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Overdy Gamer, and we are back with some more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2. Last episode, we defeated a bunch of Heartless, and we defeated one of the Organization 13 members. So now we're on our way to some some pretty heavy battling. A lot of a lot of intensity is going to be happening. What the hell is that? It's just a crystal like in the ground, and pretty uh, high intense battles. And let's go. I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to do some some. Heartless killings, man. Let's go. Huh? What's with them? Hey! The guy was that handsome. You mean it's his nobody? The leader of Organization 13. Wait a minute. Now I know. Wise Ansem, I'm here to seek your advice. I'm glad we have the opportunity to speak like this, my friend. I'm intrigued by your hypothesis, and I'm finding it difficult to stave off the urge to test it. Still, I'm concerned about the stability of the worlds. Yup, that's what worries me too. The doors that appeared, the place the heartless seek, I fear my research may have brought this upon us. Master Ansem, regarding the experiment I presented the other day, with your permission, I'd like to proceed. I forbid it! Forget this talk of doors and the heart of all worlds. That place must not be defiled. But Master Ansem, I've been thinking... They are not. Those thoughts are best forgotten. <clears throat> now I remember. Xehanort, Ansem's apprentice. The leader of Organization 13 is Xehanort's nobody. Let's go! Move it! We can't let Xehanort get away! Right! This is the battle that I've been talking about. Push you have to kill 1,000 Heartless or more. Snag. But this is all about reaction commands. This whole battle, it's all it's about. Like, you're not going to really want to be doing too many, like, actual attacks attacks until, like, the end. It's pretty much all about reaction commands, see? <laughs> all about this. Just doing this over and over again. But it's pretty fun if you want to... If you want to get some work done, and you want to kill a lot of Heartless, it's pretty good. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty entertaining. Alright, so, I know I said I wouldn't be doing too many attacks, but that was just, I was just asking for it. It's a huge group right there, I couldn't help it. I'm pretty sure there's a thousand of them. That's just my, my assumption from last time I remember, last time I saw it happen. I'm pretty sure it was a thousand. But if it's not, then, you know, whatever. Oh, uh, Rising Sun, let's do this. Okay, never mind, never mind, I was just kidding, I don't want Rising Sun. Oh, Rising Thun, there. Rising Sun, Rising Thun. <laughs> See how many we got left? Look at this. Oh, baby. So, baby, you, you got what I need. 
When you say you're just a heartless. When you say you're just a heartless old baby. Oh, here we go. Snagging and dragging. Let's go. So, other games I've been playing. Um, I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty recently. That's just because it doesn't take a lot of energy to play Call of Duty. It's quite quite the easy game. What the? I clicked snag and I just jumped in the air and just held it there for a while. That's stupid. Rising Sun. Well, I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty. I've been playing a lot of iPhone games, actually. And I've been wondering if I could, if there's a way if I could like, get it on my computer and show you guys like what I've been playing. I think that's pretty cool. But uh, most, of, most of it's just like, you know, just... The simple old, like, I sometimes I play Dragon Veil, vale, which is kind of a child's game, but I don't care. I just play it in class and I'm bored. I play Camelot, which is just like a building of your own castle world kind of thing, which is also pretty cool. But, you know, I don't play that much. I just like, I play when I'm really bored, or like when I'm on the toilet, which I know sounds weird, but don't even act like you don't. You guys don't do it. I mean, haters. Y'all hating, because you guys know you sit on the toilet, and you guys play with your PSP or whatever, your iPhone. Oh look, another level. Strength. Increase in combination boost. All right, sunrise. So we're about halfway now, <laughs> which is all good. That's all good. It is this feeling like they're never ending. This never go away. This feeling like the crowd's not getting any smaller. Oh, snag! Oh, I had a snag. Uh, no, rising sun works too. No, I didn't really hit anybody on that one. I like how this is like one hit kill snag. There we go, Ooh, baby. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, rising sun. See, I haven't been doing too much. The whole uh, facts about the world, I'm gonna keep doing that, but this world isn't really based on a movie at all. So, I really can't do that, because no movie's based on Hollow Bastion right now. But the next one we go to, probably I'll have a little bit of fun facts for you. So, yeah, it's actually it's pretty exciting about that. I actually, um, I've been producing, like just today, I've done like three, four episodes of Kingdom Hearts. So, that's pretty exciting to talk about how uh, four episodes because I haven't I haven't recorded in months I just haven't also been rendering because my computer does not is not render friendly let's just say so yeah I've been just doing my best with the whole rendering hopefully being able to get get something going on my channel because I haven't been able to do anything and I feel so bad for you guys because like I went on a three week dry spell which has never happened and I, I just felt really bad because like. I was, I was like, yeah, I want to start making more videos, like on the New Year's, I'm like, more videos, more this, more that. And I just, I didn't even follow through with it. But now I am. I, I get to record more. So from all the moving, it kind of it took me a while to get uh, get everything set up. Now I'm all set up. And I'm able to do, do more Let's Plays and record more. So on weekends that my girlfriend's out of town for volleyball, or like she's doing some sports or whatever, I'll be able to uh, record and talk to you guys, which is always fun. I like to make videos. And just I haven't been able to, and also I'm thinking about doing more uh, Call of Duty gameplays because those don't take too much rendering. It takes about like two hours, three hours to render. It's not even bad. And I just feel like that'll be that'll be a little cool thing to do. Nothing too bad. Nothing too uh, intensive on my computer because my computer kind of sucks really bad. So okay, now when the crowd gets smaller, it's all about just like pushing triangle repeatedly. And now level 32 strength increase and magic increase also. That's pretty cool. And another rising sun for you guys, thank you. Yeah, Call of Duty commentary is not too intensive. I feel like I have a few good ideas for my commentaries, like I think I'm gonna do like a fun fact one where I just start reading off facts about anything. And oh crowds, there's only 60 left now, so that's that's pretty good. I can just I can just handle this. Boom! Now there's only uh Oh I saw I saw a reactor command. Snag, snag, come on. There we go. Rising sun works too. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're at about 17. Make that a uh, nine. 17 and nine. That's pretty good. Oh, oh god. Come here. I'm gonna snag and I'm gonna finish this off. Oh yes, one more. Let's play a game. Boom. I got a bonus. It's guard break. So that was pretty good. 1,000 heartless is down, and in a matter of only like seven minutes or so, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Where's the king? Come on! Now I just 
school. Xehanort! How long has it been since I abandoned that name? Out with it, nobody! Where's Kyrie? Where's Riku? I know nothing of any Kyrie. As for Riku, perhaps you should ask your king. He's gone. Show on, Juju. What's going on? Way to fall right into their trap. Come on, it's a setup by Organization 13. Xemnas is using you to destroy the Heartless. That's his big master plan. Xemnas? The guy you just saw. He's their leader. Got it memorized? X-E-M-N-A-S. Organization 13 wants to get rid of the Heartless? Man, you're slow. Every heartless slain with that keyblade releases a captive heart. That is what the organization is after. So what are those guys gonna do with your hearts? I'm not telling. Tell us! You! You're the one who kidnapped Kyrie! Bingo. The name's Axel. Got it memorized. Where is Kyrie? Please, just tell me. Look, about Kyrie, I'm sorry. Axel. Uh oh. We'll ensure he receives the maximum punishment. I don't care about any of that. Just let me into the realm of darkness, okay? If it's Kyrie you're worried about, don't. We're taking very good care of her. Take me to her. Is she that important to you? Yeah, more than anything. Show me how important. Please. So, you really do care for her? In that case, the answer's no. You run! Are you angry? Do you hate me? Then take that rage and direct it at the Heartless. Pitiful Heartless. Mindlessly collecting hearts. And yet, they know not the true power of what they hold. The rage of the Keyblade releases those hearts. They gather in darkness, masterless and free, until they weave together to make kingdom hearts. And when that time comes, we can truly, finally exist. What in the world do you think you're prattling on about? Kingdom Hearts belongs to me. The heart of all kingdoms. The heart of all that lives. A dominion fit to be called Kingdom Hearts must be my dominion! Maleficent, no! No more Heartless! I do not take orders from you! Fool. Oh, 
Oh no! While I keep these creatures at bay, you devise a way to vanquish them forever. Maleficent. Do not misunderstand me. I shall have my revenge on you yet. Maleficent! Leave now. I don't take orders from you. <laughs> but what about... Now then, where did we leave off? Side you guys on anyway. The heartless ally with whoever's the strongest. Yes, Sora. Extract more hearts. All for nothing. What am I supposed to do if I can't use the Keyblade? Imbeciles! You can't be trusted to do anything. Huh? Secret Ansem's Report 1. A secret report written by Ansem and can be viewed in Jiminy's journal. Relax. Those three aren't going down that easily. The Keyblade's chosen one. He's a lucky kid. See you soon. I guess sometimes help comes from unexpected places. Sure does. Well then. Maybe everything we've done, maybe it was all for nothing. What am I supposed to do if I can't use the Keyblade? Imbeciles! You can't be trusted to do anything! Huh? What's this place? It must be the realm of darkness. Kyrie, Riku. What? Are you sure you want to open? That? Gorge! It's the gang from Twilight Town. There's Hainer, Ants, Olette, and, uh, um... Roxas. No. The name just popped into my head. This is 
Roxas. Are you sure you want to eat that? Chunky, no, sweet. Not yet. I gotta look for Kyrie. Ice cream. Ice cream found inside the box. Mmm, it's refreshing and tastes really good. Picture. Like, no, let's just state the obvious here. A picture found inside the box that shows Hayner and the gang in front of the old mansion in Twilight Town. Some ice cream. Hmm, I wonder if there's some sort of clue. And who would have left them for us anyway? Rico? You think? Just this feeling I got. Yeah! Well, I was there. Hey, what if the Heartless are back again? I can't use the Keyblade. That would only help the organization. But Sora, I think you have to use it. If we don't fight them, the Heartless will keep on hurting folks. That is true. So, that is the end of this episode, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, tell me what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 2. On a side note, though, we have just started the second half of the game. Yep, just started the second half of the game. All right. So, I'll see you later.